I study reclaimed water irrigation um, and specifically the nutrients that come along with reclaimed water used in uh, residential settings. We're looking at the nutrients that are found within reclaimed water, um, especially when it's oversprayed onto impervious surfaces. So we're looking to quantify the nutrient load that's being applied to surface water bodies from that irrigation overspray that's in that reclaimed water. We believe that it could be contributing to um, water quality issues. Um, my research is located along the east coast of Florida at the Indian River Lagoon, which has been plagued with some water quality issues. So when we go, we collect our samples, we bring them back to the lab, um, and then we run them through one of our uh, analyzing machines that'll analyze for ammonia, um, nitrate, um, total carbon, total nitrogen, things like that. I actually use a drone um, to fly over my research areas to get aerial images of that overspray area so it makes it a little easier um, to get those pictures than it would be if you were just standing at street level. I've always loved science and I've always loved um, the natural world, our ecosystems, um, but to combine science and nature with the human element has always kind of been where I really focus and really enjoy because a lot of it is human driven and a lot of these uh, concerns you know are, are not yet into the public's eyes yet so they don't really know what's happening and so I love teaching people you know what we're doing and why we're doing it and then also you know blending in you know that anthropogenic factor to it. Also part of my project is you know implementing you know what we find and sharing it with the public in hopes that you know, when we do find out, you know, at the end of the project, you know, what's going on, that we can share that information so people can make better decisions and, uh, you know, keeping their lawn nice and green, but not impacting our environment. <laughs>